Are you recording over anything? No one either though, so I don't know how bad it's going to look. Or if it's not bad, could it? Or if it doesn't look that bad at all, We'll find out. Because there's a lot of money tapes. It's only a notch up from VHF. Yeah. But. Fuck it. It's an exciting yeah. We do this for free. That's what I say. It's right. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right. We make money, we worry about it. We don't make money, fuck it. Bum, 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 bum. I'm just recording. I'm gonna see if there's some cards dropped. Oh, hi, folks. No sense of us going through that all again. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no, Herpes, gonorrhea. Welcome to the VD channel. Syphilis. <laughs> Today we'll be talking about several kinds of VD. Gastronemic intestine. Mostly kinds you can get while having sex. Did you know that chicken pox is herpes simplex number one? Yes, that's a very interesting point, Steve. Another one. See what happens. That first one. By this time, the stamps gonna cost about fifty bucks. So. <laughs> Four eight seven one. Mr. P head. <laughs> Hello, Mr. P head. That's all you need to know. That's right. Four eight seven one. Just the boss zip code, and I will put the delta sign. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Delta for its own. Mr. P. Hate. Mr. Use P. Hate. Dead frog for Mr. Potato. Yeah. <laughs> now, did we really get that in the mail or what? Yeah. Somebody yeah. sent that to the station. Did Chris Lamar open it? No. Hi. Sent it to my house, actually. Who sent it to your house? I don't even know him. Somebody in the building. Oh, really? Oh, I see. I think I want to sick bastards. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> I opened it up. Wow, this, it's a package. Rattle, rattle, rattle. <laughs> <laughs> Little did he know. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Open. What did you do when you opened it up? Well. <laughs> <laughs> no letter, no message, no, no. nothing? Just, Just a dead frog. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Piss. Now, what we have here is the adjacent universe that the paperboy has been zapped into. Okay, I see you've okay. got two 1992s All here. Right. This 1992 is reality. Okay. You haven't seen the Phantasmatron? I can't seem to find the Phantasmatron. This is important, no, man. No. i got to find the Phantasmatron. Okay. Okay. This is reality. Okay. This is the adjacent Okay, to like the a, parallel. Like a parallel universe. Right. Okay. Only it's adjacent okay. to, not parallel. I got you so far. Okay. This is 1877. Okay. That's where the paper boy is now. Right now. Okay. You sure but you haven't seen the fan? No! no, no, no we have to the say it. That. By multiplying one mole okay. times E equals MC squared, 6.2 times 10 to the negative 23. Not back here. And uh, this symbol here by X and Y okay. minus 6. Yeah. Okay. All right, gotcha. Then that's how we get 2007. Okay, this is bad. The bad this universe. This is evil. This is like us as hippies in the future. Right. Okay, we don't want this. We showed you all that last week. Right. I know right. you were watching. So we zapped the paper boy okay. back to 1877. Back from here to 1877 through 1992, which is reality. Okay. Bam. Okay. And, then, and, then that, and, and thus that's avoiding it. the point where later that day the paper boy would break into the house. Exactly. There's no phantasmatron anywhere. No. no, we haven't seen it. I would get mad and I'd shoot him. Thus, we get such bad press right. that we go off the air. Thus, the bad future. But now that we've sent bad the paper future. boy back to 1877, right. that no longer happens. Right. So now this reality By is reality. This. Right. We have this reality. Okay. Here. And you found all this out in this year of 25. 25. 25. 25. Okay. Gotcha. Phantasmatron. I can't find the phantasmatron. Where, where did you leave it last? You know, uh, work backwards. See, How Steve's about that? trying to explain this to work me. Work backwards. Yeah, work backwards. Good Steve, idea. Steve, 
It's coming from the future. Right. Okay, I get out of the car. This is the future. Car. I get out of the car. Um, here, I, give him, I give him my hat. Hat. Okay. hat. Um, he grabs the Phantasmatron. Phantasmatron. Okay. Uh, right here. We run, into, we run inside. I left it on the lawn. On the lawn. Okay, then it's on the lawn. It's on the lawn. That means about it's where you the got Paperboy would be standing. You got right about there when we sent him back to 1877. Which means he has a Phantasmatron. In 1877. In 1877. Which makes all this absolutely useless and totally wrong. Ah! Find the Ow. How did that bike feel as it fell on you? <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to look. I figure if, I, if we didn't react, it would oh, be yeah. funnier, but yeah. it's like, clay. <laughs> I'm shining. He's shining. Shiny, happy bike. White, white shirt. White shirt. Steve's future jacket. That's right. <laughs> Ready? Sure. Talk about the show. Oh right? man. Yeah. <laughs> no, we 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 set up a satellite dish in Matt's yard. This isn't worth it. What? Let's do it again. <laughs> Don't think we knew that we were. No. Turn it. Yes, come in. I'll just pop up. Okay. Oh, man, you got waxed. Yeah, the paper boy really learned how to fight in the yeah. past, that's for sure. Oh, weird. Ugh. I, I, didn't even, okay? I didn't even get my paper. That's the worst thing, is that I didn't even get my paper. A couple episodes in a row you haven't gotten the paper. I know. I zapped him back. Yes, yes, I know. So I have no idea what's going on in the world today. But what difference does it make? I'm on TV, and that's that's all that matters. Um, Did you get the $2? No, I didn't get the two dollars either. We'll have to figure out some way to get that two dollars. Hmm, we'll have to think of some insipid plot. Hmm. <laughs> but in the meantime, as we scheme a bit, we'll talk about the movie, the third in our Dick Tracy Fest. That's right, it's Dick Tracy's Dilemma. Uh, ooh, everybody, ooh, everybody at home, 60 minutes, 60, 60 minutes, on the nose, 60, one hour, one hour, on the, on the nose, one hour, one hour, one hour, um, we have a new guy playing Dick Tracy in this one, who, uh, uh Ralph Bird, what's wrong with the old guy, I, I don't know, I was wondering, they must have, I don't know, creative differences Did maybe, die in the last movie, no, no, just a, just a new guy's playing him, no explanation or, or anything. Contract was up. Yeah, perhaps. So watch Dick Tracy's Dilemma. I'm going to go take an aspirin or something for this eye. It's looking bad. Uh, it's starting to puff up. Yeah, yeah, it really is. I guess that's it. Good. It's hammer time. <laughs> Rolling. Should I jiggle the camera a little bit? Okay, got the shot, Steve? Yeah, yeah. Right right there, okay. Man, it sure is nice to have yeah. Steve back to run the hey, camera. What are you going to do without a cameraman? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, that was Dick Tracy's Dilemma here on Cinema Insomnia. I can't wait to find out what happens in our fourth and final episode next yeah. week. Yeah, Dick right. Tracy meets Gruesome. Gruesome. Ooh. Ooh. How do you like the new Dick Tracy, man? The new Dick Tracy? Yeah, this new guy. What, Warren Beatty? <laughs> yeah, right. No, Ralph Bird. Oh, the, Ralph. the new guy. Ralph? Yeah. Uh, so sort of the old new Dick Tracy. Eh, he's all right. He's all right. No, he's no Morgan Conway. No. He's no Morgan no Conway. Sonny Tufts either. Oh, no, no oh, Sonny oh, Tufts. Oh, 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 it. Hey. <laughs> really? Give it. <laughs> Give him Sorry. a break for goodness sake. Unfair. Unfair. Definitely. Unfair. Well, All the standards I try to, you know, oh. set. Exactly. My exactly. Movies. That's my most prized possession. Sunny. My autographed picture of Sonny Tufts. Um, it's time for floppy disk films, yes. right? Floppy disk, floppy disk, disk films. films. So watch that. Floppy. It's going to be real good. Floppy disk. Mega computer. Mega computer. Floppy disk. Watch it. Did the thing zoom in and out? Yeah. yeah, it did. Okay, I couldn't tell. When you just talking, what, I don't know what we'd do without a cameraman. Yeah. Your extreme tight shot on the phone right now.
Yeah. Don't even see the monitor. It ain't moving. It's uh, it's out all the way, dude. No, it ain't. It's ex. You, you moved, uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Move my little viewfinder. Oh, is that why? Is that the remote that's sensor or? It's falling, and I can't get up. Ouch. It's still recording too. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay, you got the shot, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There, right there. Okay. Zoom well, out sure, a little bit. It sure is nice having a cameraman back on, and not just a, any cameraman, but Steve, the cameraman. Well, I don't know. We went through an awful lot just to get him back here. Well, that is true, but I mean, it's Steve. We got someone to, you know, what would we do without a cameraman? What would we do? You know, I have no you got idea. a remote, you can use this. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Automation, I... it's the wave of the future. You've been there. That's it's right. Uh, you ought to know. Well. It's not pretty for cameraman. No. Uh, that was Dick Tracy's Dilemma, the third in our Dick Tracy Fest, but I can't wait to find out what happens next week. Uh, what do you think about uh, the new Dick Tracy here, Matt? No. Who, Warren Beatty? No, no, no not, <laughs> not, not that new. Uh, Ralph Bird, this new guy they got. Oh, no. Well, he's no Sonny Tufts. <laughs> hey, <laughs> he, that's, that's unfair. Yeah, that's true. That's I mean, well, who is, really? I mean, I, please right. be reasonable. Sonny well, Tufts. I know. I mean, standards can't be that high. Uh, it's only true. a $20 movie. In all that's sincerity, right. Sonny Tufts. That's my autograph picture. My most prized possession, my autograph picture of Sonny Tufts. Well, uh, it's about time for floppy disk films, I believe, right, Matt? Yep. So let me get it ready. Floppy, floppy disk films, uh, Amiga computer, right. all that fun stuff. Watch it; should be good. Hey, <laughs> it's floppy disk films. La la la. What a theme for everything. A scene of the week. Why would you do that? That'd be funny. What? Hey, it's <laughs> My variation on the spot theme. Okay. Got it? Okay, you got the shot there, Steve? Right. Okay. There. That's okay. Good. All right, okay. That's good. Cool. Well, I don't know what we do without a cameraman. You wouldn't be able to get along. That's Remember right. Remember that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Steve, you walked in front of me. Oh. oh, okay. I just don't know what we do without Steve, the cameraman. I'm glad he's back. You walked in front of my Zoom. Walked in front of your Zoom. <laughs> oh, I thought that was gonna that was part of the shtick. Thus referring to the remote control without actually oh, saying okay. remote control. <laughs> okay, starting Walked over. Walked in front of the infrared remote. Look and see if that shot's okay. That looks good. Okay, ready, okay. ready. shaking. All right, you got the shot there, Steve. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay. Right, right there. Looks good. Well, I don't know what we do without without the cameraman here. Hey. He walked in front of my remote. What? Get. <sighs> well, well, I can always use running your remote. Yeah, I we suppose. went through a lot to get him back. Yeah, well, it is, you know, true, but it's Steve the cameraman. Yeah. You know, I mean, I guess remotes are the wave of the future. Yeah, yeah. you would know about that. The future's not kind to cameramen, I'm here to really? say. Really? Oh, that's too bad. Well, that was Dick Tracy's dilemma. The always be room in your heart for me, Steve. Uh, <laughs> or my heart for you. A, a nice Thanks. warm fuzzy here on Cinema Insomnia. Dick Tracy's Dilemma, the third in our Dick Tracy Fest. Third. Third, how exciting. I can't wait to find out what happens third. next week. Ooh, next week. What do you think of uh, of Ralph Bird? The new... Ralph, Ralph uh, yeah, Bird. what do you think of the new Dick Tracy? Ralph Bird or uh, Warren B? Oh, well, not not that new. The uh, Ralph Bird here, the new oh. guy. The well, new either guy. way, there are no Sunny Tufts. Ow. Well... <laughs> You know, that's an unfair comparison. I mean, who is, really, oh, Sonny Tubbs? I mean, he's the greatest. I guess I expect too much from our movies. I think They're so. They're only $20. I mean, it's 20 bucks. What do you want? So uh, that's like my most prized possession. Autograph. My autograph picture of Sonny Tubbs. Well, it's time to go into floppy disk films. Kind of goofy stuff on the Amiga computer, right? Like and this week we have the premiere of the floppy disk films theme. So why don't you go ahead and throw that slate up, Matt? Okay. And here we go. Hey, it's Floppy Disk Films. La! Beautiful. <laughs> or something. Rolling. Well, Floppy Disk Films here on Cinema and Sonia. Hey, that one was pretty good, Matt. I like that one. Yeah. Did you handpick that one yourself? Uh, no, I didn't. You did, huh? No. Ah. Well, I guess it's about that time of the show again. That's right. That's right, folks. <laughs> Mr. 
Potato Head's letter of the week. I like this funky letter that we got That's last pretty. week. You notice this this thing, that time travel letter that we got? It says here, Yesterday Express, when it absolutely positively has to be there before you send it. I kind of like that. That's funky. Let's see what we have this week here, Matt. Huh? Let's see what we have this week. Letter of the week. Letter, letter of the week, Mr. Matt. Potato Head. This thing doesn't have a pause control. For that. Uh, Mr. Potato. Oh, wow, look at this. We got a. Oh, ow, oh, oh ow. Mr. Potato Head's feet fell off. Look, it's a package. I died. It's a package. Let's see what this is. Who's this from? This is from. Uh, uh, the Shoggers, I believe. The Shoggers. Hemlock, Michigan. The Shoggers of Hemlock, Michigan. They don't live in Reese. No, they don't live in Reese. Let's see what we got here. In, uh, it, it appears to be a, a dead frog. What? <laughs> It's a it's a dead frog. See that. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Look at it. It's a dead. It's a dead. <laughs> it's a dead frog. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. We got a dead frog. You sent me a dead frog. <laughs> How could you let this letter get through? It's a dead frog. <laughs> 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 it's a dead frog. We got a dead frog. You know, I hope we don't get any letters. <laughs> you know, if you're from the Humane Society, we're sorry. We yeah, just, we're uh, sorry. Somebody actually sent us that. Just roadkill. That's all it is. You can't do much about roadkill. <laughs> I don't know. That's really sick. If you don't like it, I bet you're sorry you did that. That'll teach you. I got to leave. <laughs> well, uh, folks. Please don't send us anything like that. Send us letters. Normal, normal letters Nothing on living. paper. Nothing that is living or was once living. <laughs> well, I guess paper, like, was once living, but that doesn't count. Paper doesn't count. You can send us that. Uh, well, Matt's not here to throw up the address. I guess I better do it. I can never work these controls here. It's the one on the right, the hoochamajig on the right. Which one is it? The hoochamajig. This thing? Yeah. Ah! That's there not it. No, no, wait. Ah, there, that's it. Okay. Mr. Potato Head's Letter of the Week, Care of Cinema Insomnia, and Mr. Potato Head, Delta College, University Center, Michigan, everybody, 48710. And here, let me see if I can get the viewer video. There, ah. there we go. No. Is that it? There. No. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, viewer video, Care of Cinema Insomnia, Delta Broadcasting, University Center, Michigan, 48710. So, uh... That's it for, uh, for oh. Cinema Insomnia this week. Oh. You feel better there, Matt? Oh, Do you yeah. feel better? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Don't send us. Don't, look, look at this. Don't, just don't send don't us this stuff anymore. Frog, That's, here, let's just close this up. We'll get Mr. Potato Head his feet back. Uh, I guess until next week, which we have on the, the final of our four-episode Dick Tracy Fest, uh, Dick Tracy meets Gruesome. So, so tune in and watch for that. Ralph Bird once again starring as Dick Tracy. So tune in and watch that. Um, I don't know, we're going to have a proper burial, I guess, for the frog. Uh, until then, I'm me, you're you, we're us. Go away. Bye-bye. What? That's what we can do for our clothes. What? The, the funeral for the frog. Oh! Uh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Go Dearly beloved, this is a sad occasion where we wish to put to rest, his final rest, what we have now named as Bippy the Frog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice and toasty. Awesome. Ooh, I just stabbed him. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yeah. Friends, Romans, countrymen, 
we have gathered here together on this very, very sad occasion to put to his final resting place that who we have now named as Bippy the Frog. Bippy was probably a good frog. I didn't know him very well. I don't think really any of us here could say we knew him, but how could you really know a frog when you think about it? I mean, it's really kind of stupid, but, but I digress. Bippy, I'm sure, was a good frog in his day. I'm sure he hopped around with, with, with much figure. And I quote from the book of Amphibians, chapter 1. Yea, though I hop through, the, through the, the swamps and bogs, I will fear no evil. For the god of Amphibians watches over me. So I think it is very befitting that, that we should put to rest and remember with much fondness our, our good friend, although for a very short time, our very good friend, Bippy the Frog. So we now say one final, final words to, several final words, I suppose, to Bippy the Frog. He who comes from the sea shall return to the sea. To the sea. that in your hand. Okay, one more. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Look up. Thumb's okay.
Hi. What's going on? Start walking forward, bud. Walk forward, bud. Wait, do it slower. <laughs> Try. Try. Go ahead. Okay. That's a nice story. Okay. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. Step off this way, off, off the frame. A little bit more. There you go. Now go. Slow. <laughs> you gotta be meaner. Ready? Yep. That was a I don't long. Think I can walk faster. It was a long shot. That's all. Okay. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. Okay. Sub Bill. A little bit faster. I can't walk in these. I got my combat. Go. What? Got it. Now you gotta back up first. Wait, curve in the background. Back up. Good shit, huh? Alright. Now you gotta walk slow. Okay, go ahead. Right, got it. Okay, when he's done walking past us. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you shooting this with a strobe on? Yeah, it's a start to walk, Bill. <laughs> I didn't do anything, I promise. 
but I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> you can't do it. Okay, well, think of think of um, your grandmother naked. That ought to that ought to keep you from laughing. Hey, golfer boy, go downstairs and give me some batteries. Batteries. Yeah, now I can put you in the credits. All right. <laughs> go. Wait, gotta, you gotta, you gotta meet, Bill, you gotta move towards him. That's where you gotta meet, right there. Mark it. Raw! Oh! <laughs> Not doing anything. <laughs> Think of like dead kittens or something. <laughs> Oh, I guess I picked the wrong thing. <laughs> I'll be able to get my gun out. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> We're rolling here, I think, so. Yes. Draw! <laughs> Look me in the throat. So damn funny. Draw. <laughs> Didn't smoke. Ooh. Let's see if I can get it set at where it'll smoke here. That was a fucking intense scene. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stringer or something, yeah. Go ahead. Stinks, stinks, man. I paid two bucks for caps and they're not working. Oh, well, there we go. Oh. Draw! <laughs> Too uh, soon. You gotta wait till he shoots you. Then you could just go flying. Don't move until he shoots you. Just keep struggling with your gun until he shoots you. How far up can you see us, Matt? All the way. Go ahead. How was that? Pretty good. Do it again? Yeah. <laughs> of course. I know Matt. I know Matt too well. I get one good one, I want two. That's right. Go ahead. Draw! See, that was better. Am I shooting him or is he just falling back? Shoot him and have him fall back. Go ahead. Try it again. Who's that sound effects? Well, we will add sound effects, but it'll give you the... Finally it comes out. Show me how... Oh, you shot him in the head. You did? Yeah. I can't tell. Yeah. Action. That's good. Go ahead. Can you see it? Can you see it well enough? Barely. Does it come on this way help? Yeah. Walk past the camera, buddy. Walk up. Okay. Probably kick your hand now. Uh, if you kick, hit my. <laughs> Can't get it. Try it again. Start over here. Quit by it. Okay. Step over my leg if you have to. Okay. How's that? It's pretty good. I want to get a better shot of the gun coming out. <laughs> you don't have to get up. That's a different shot, though. <laughs> I got to take these off, man. I'm one serious. More, one more. One more? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Action. 
a lot better. Perfect almost. Send the man back in time. Past. Or whatever. Ready? You better look at him. What you gotta do is you gotta whatever shift you the cigarette from this better. side to this side. Okay? Oh, I can. Ready? And then you sit up. Go. I look okay? Oh. He hit me in the shoulder. Could you... Okay, action. Stand up. Hold it out. Hold it up. Need no smile. Smack him. That's pretty good. It's kind of slow though. Yeah, this direction is incredible, isn't it? It's awesome. If you look up, shift that cigar, stand up. Pull it out. Pull it up. Smile. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Forgot yeah. to smile. Cigar. Sit up. Hold the thing out. There's a smile. Smack him. Oh. You gotta follow through, Bill. <laughs> shit, you bitch. I'll hit you. Shit. Son of a bitch. I have to be nice to this hat. This hat's expensive. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Bang him. Bang him. Oh, man. Stand in front of him. Toss that sucker down here. Like right off into the sunset. We wanted to get a horse, <laughs> but... Oh well. Now you move. Get over there. Okay. Next time you zap a man into the past, you better take a good long look at his face. Puff, put your bag on, pedal away. How come you didn't get on it? I got caught. Oh. Turn around, drag, spit. Pedal away. Shift your cigar again. I can't do that. Come here. Come here. Come here. The single people way. Ah, oh, you hate the single people way. Ah, oh, you rip his head off. You damn single people way. <laughs> <laughs> But he take a couple steps too. Gotta <sighs> go over this way, buddy. <sighs> Which way are we gonna go? Huh? Reach for your gun. Hold that right there. Buddy, walk towards him. Perfect.
Test, test, test. Don't you think so? We wouldn't even have to dress them up. <laughs> Just tell them to show up. Just tell them to show up. You fit right in. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> you ripped that off a dead sweat hog, man. <laughs> <laughs> Should we all like, get up and dance and stuff? Sure. What's up, me? I have to talk about my shoes because we have to see these shoes at some point. Let's be like our old thing. Do I make predictions throughout this, throughout this thing? No, we'll do, yeah, we'll do that after the commercial. After the commercial. <laughs> news of the future. That's what they called it on uh, laughing. The future news. News of the past, news of the present, news of the future. News of the future, the only thing that they got right was President Ronald Reagan. It was President Reagan, yeah. That was a joke. They came close, though, on some. Because right now, it was about that. They always were about 30 years ahead, and right now it's about that time when all that, all this stuff should be happening. Are we just waiting for makeup, man? All righty. Uh, what? Are, are we ready? Everybody do that. Oh no! The scary thing is, <coughs> Steve looks good in those sideburns. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta grow them. <laughs> I just don't think I could get him to curl. <laughs> I'm ready. We'll all be dancing. We'll just like, just kind of like. The Steve should just Steve just be mellowing out right there. Just be I love it. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, oh, Bill. Bill tie dye Barrett. How do you tie dye? I don't know. It's just a cool nickname. Is the camera on? Want me to turn it on? All right, going. Bill's it's not going. He's trucking. He's oh yeah, it is. I know. I got these great shoes, and I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get out of here, though. I have to dance back here. <laughs> Stay alive. Stay alive. All right, I think we need to end. No. All right, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome to Cinema 75. How's it going, all you groovy cats out there? All right, my name is Buddy Almond. I'm a kind of insomniac kind of guy. I don't sleep so well. Over here. <laughs> Start it. I gotta turn that off. Oh yeah. Do it again. Should I like take the mic off the stand? Sure. No, leave it on the stand. It'll be more obnoxious. Okay. Because <laughs> I knew it was going <laughs> to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> got to talk louder, too, to swing over there. Oh, is that mic? Really? Is this working? No. Oh, oh I thought this mic was working. Uh. Shit. Uh, 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 I thought I was actually talking into a mic. Well. Girl sideburns, man. <laughs> I don't know, Bill. You look like you came out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Did you ever, did you ever see the what, the Croft Super Show? The oh, Croft yeah! Super Show? The you look like Captain Cool. 
So when you guys dance, you guys gotta come down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shoot your head and cut off. Okay. You look sort of like Captain Cool, man. We should have some up. zooming in and stuff. <laughs> yeah, somebody zoom in. Like, <laughs> no, we'll do that stuff later. I feel like a black crow. <laughs> <laughs> On my side, okay? <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Shut up. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever they say. Ready? Bam, bam, bam. Tell, by the way, I use my walk. I'm old oh, man. I'm old man. I'm old man. Alright. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Hello, all you cats out there. Welcome to Cinema 75. All right, we got a lot of groovy stuff for you tonight, so don't go away. Stay tuned. All right, let's introduce everybody, the guys in the band, as it were. Over here, we got Mr. Matthew Harvey, the technical guy. All right, what a cool, cool, cool cat he is. It's me. And we got our groovy guy over here, this here, Steve, the cameraman, Ben. All right, what a cool guy. How's it going, Steve? I love it! <laughs> Steve's a little out of it, man. But that's cool. That's cool, man. You can be any way you want. It's really cool. You, get, you got the freedom to do that. Over here, we got Mr. Bill Tie-Dye Barrett. Don't keep ask on trucking, bud. Hey, keep on trucking, Bill. Don't ask about that nickname. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> all right. Well, we got all kinds of funky, groovy stuff for all you cats out there. So, uh... I love it! <laughs> Steve's having a good time. I hope you're having a good time, too. Because we got some disco music coming up we're going to play. We're going to go be back, going back into the disco. Uh, we got some 8-track tapes that are new. We'd like to, like to tell everybody about that a little bit later. But uh, right now, uh, we'd like to play some commercials. So, everybody just kind of hang loose and we'll be back when you are. Okay. <laughs> Gotta do another one though. <coughs> of course. Always two. Or three. Bill, don't say anything when <clears throat> he talks to you because I gotta get a cut away. Let me get close up as a very buddy. Oh yeah, that's right. Keep on track. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is that cool? Am I too? Am I? Am I? Seventies well, or loud? That's fine. Okay. All right. Ready? All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Groovy man. Groovy. All right. Groovy. 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 All right. Welcome, all you cool cats out there, to Cinema 75. I'm Buddy Alm, and I'm your Cinema Insomniac host. All right, all you cool cats out there. Let me introduce to all these hep cats, hep jive cats in the band here. We got uh, over here Mr. Matthew Harvey, the technical guy. All right, how's it going, man? Hey, just doing that technical thing, bud. All right, peace. These. Over here we got a real cool cat. Pretty hip, pretty jive. We got Steve, the cameraman, back. All right. How are you, Steve? What's grooving? I love it! <laughs> Steve's a little out of it, man, but that's okay because he's doing his own thing. You can do your own thing at home. Make sure you do. You got the freedom to do that. Over here we got Bill Tie-Dye Barrett. How's it going, Bill? Don't ask about that name. It's kind of a kind of a cool thing he picked up once when we were having a little bit of fun, if you know what I mean. So that's the cats of the band. We got all kinds of stuff we'd uh, we'd like to get to you a little bit later. We got some uh, disco. We'll be getting back into the disco a little bit later, and uh, we got some new eight tracks that we'd like to show you and play for all you hep cats out there. So I love those. <laughs> All right, Steve's doing his own thing. We're all doing our own thing, kind of hanging loose. So we'd like to show you a few commercials, and we'll be here when you get back. All right, just kind of hang loose, yeah. Okay. I like the first one better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, That's 
the phone, the neighbors are complaining. <laughs> are you guys doing 70 stuff down there? You're doing 70 <laughs> stuff down there, so I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Prove it. Hey, I'm okay. You're okay. <laughs> When does uh, when does uh, Marty come on? The end, Mr. The end. This letter. Okay. And the streakers at the end too, or is that now? That's any time, man. Oh, Random. Just <laughs> yeah, all maybe the time. just wanna... before we go into the movie. Before we go into the movie, okay, this segment then. I'll turn around by the camera when it's right there. Take your shirt off, buddy. Stupid man. <laughs> this streaker. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> These are the cutaways. Maybe when I do Mr. Potato Head's theme, we could have just unplug the unplug the lava lamp for that, and I'll just do some real psychedelic stuff for the Mr. Potato Head theme. Now, time for the Mr. Potato Head theme. Well, I'll just kind of... <laughs> All right, time for Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> I love that. You have the weirdest hair. Thanks, man. I'm gonna sweat it all up and give it to him. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> What's that eating or drinking? I can't remember. <laughs> what difference does it make? We're coming back from a commercial. No, he's uh, getting close. Oh, close ups. Ah. Consume a little mystery beverage. Key go. <laughs> you should do a mat key for these. She go. Don't be discouraged. <laughs> we gotta have you, we gotta have you so sing hard to understand. Remind me in case gotta I forget. Yeah, remind me in case I forget. I'm gonna I try to get it. Bill to. Bill knows you, every. That's when you can get in an argument. <laughs> no, we're gonna get in the argument later. There Bill can sing any song from any any TV. <laughs> Whose idea was this? You're fired. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's go, Matt. <laughs> Better leave. <laughs> I know. Oh man, this is gonna be funny. <laughs> Give you a grin. I want to get all the nugs out of my teeth before I grin real big. <laughs> Peanut. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Take a close up of yourself there, Matt. Ah, go get a close up of yourself. Ah, go to hell. Go taste yourself. <laughs> Shades. I can be wearing them when it comes. No, what? <laughs> no. Where's way. my bag? With them. Hey, hey. Can't find it. All I find is the rubber nose and the slinky eyes. Oh wait, here they are. That's them. Who cares? Don't toss in front of the camera. That's rolling. <laughs> 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 Can you see her hair? Are those the reverse right glasses? Yeah. See with the rear view mirrors? Yeah. But I thought they looked kind of cool. I don't know if I can get Pull them off on. any hair. Yeah, I'm trying not to. <laughs> what do you think? Should I have these on for one segment? Uh, sure. Steve? Did. Steve? Yeah, to hide his highness. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. The hotness. <laughs> you won't be able to see anything out of these. <laughs> Let's Let's try. Try. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> what do we say? Yay, nay. Okay, what are we doing here? We're coming back from a commercial. Uh, at least talk. Oh, Bill's taking it off. Don't flip that dial. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? 
Um, okay. We're in color, by the way, so you might want to mention that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, we're back now, and of course we're in full color. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. How's it going, you groovy cats out there? Yeah, that's right, it's that time of the show again. Predictions for the future. All right, this will be our fourth installment of this. Uh, Matt, why don't you go ahead and, and get us started. You give us, a, give us a prediction for the future. All right, I don't want to go out on a limb, but just to say the 70s are going to be most culturally advanced decade of the entire 20th century. Oh, man, that, you, you, that almost can't count as a prediction, man, because we know. Well, hey, man, I, I, know I got burned gonna... last week. So yeah, oh, I guess you're staying, staying simple there. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, I got one concerning uh, one of Bill's favorite actors, and, of course, one of mine, and I know you're all's favorite actor, Eric Estrada. Hey. Hey. The greatest actor of 20th century. Oh, easily. He's going to be so great, you're not even going to be able to turn the channel on the TV without catching his face in some show. He's going to be doing everything, man. Yeah, I'll bet you he's going to be doing Shakespeare. He's going to be doing that music thing, too. Oh, easy, man. He's going to cut about 50 albums. All right, all right. That'd be a bright future. Staying on the same line. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Actors. You know Ronald Reagan? Ronald Reagan, yeah, 50s kind of guy. He's going to become president of the United <laughs> States. <laughs> oh, man. Steve, what cloud are you on, man? He is, man. President. Pre <laughs> president. Get this, man. He's going to, he says to Ronald and Reagan. He's a Republican. <laughs> Man, I wish I'm munching the mushrooms. Oh man, I wish I had some of what Steve's on, man. I love him. Okay, Bill, Bill, I know you can't top that, but you got to come up with something cool. Well, this this will happen. This will. Okay, got you, man. John Travolta's string of hit movies will never end. Oh, you know it, man. The man's gonna be on top for a very long time. Easy, easy. Bigger than Brando ever was. I think he already is, man. I think he's already moving in that direction. So we can look forward to Saturday Night Fever Part 9. 9. All right. 12, maybe. 12? All right. That would be He's going he's gonna to be staying future. alive for uh, quite a while. That would be groovy. Uh, yeah. All right. Well. Woo! Woo! Oh, man. Uh, hey, that guy was naked, man. <laughs> <Dude>. All right. <laughs> uh, our final. <laughs> Our first streaker here on Cinema 75. All right. Hey, keep doing your own thing, man. Keep trucking. We're going to have to put a blue dot over that or something, man. But, hey, that's cool. That's the way you are. That's the way we all should be because I'm okay and you're okay. All right. Well, let's continue on with the predictions here. Matt. Matt, give us another, uh, give us another prediction, man. I don't know. <laughs> Matt's out of it, man. Matt has no idea. He's been, he's been putting his tongue on too many, uh, too many uh, light sockets. I think that's what it is. Well, I got another what prediction. What was it? What? Oh, what was the one I was supposed to make? A track. A track. Oh, I'll write it down. I'll it. <laughs> <laughs> Start on the bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the bread? We don't have any bread. Don't have any bread. <sighs> anyway. Anyway, roll them. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Okay. I'm gonna make a phone call here pretty soon. All right, we're back here to Cinema 75, all you groovy cats out there. It's about that time of the show again, folks. That's right, predictions for the future. This will be about our fourth installment of this. Matt, why don't you, uh, why don't you get us started with some groovy prediction about things to come, man. All right, bud. I don't want to go on a limb too much, but uh, suffice to say the 70s and maybe the most culturally advanced decade of the entire 20th century. Oh, oh man. man. Well, you know, that's almost not a prediction, man. That's because you that, know that's, that's going to happen, happen man. man. You know it. Well, happens. yeah, that's how it works. Well, I got one uh, concerning one of Bill's favorite actors here, and of course, one of mine, and I know you're all's favorite actor, Eric Estrada. Greatest. The man favorite. is a god of television. He's going <laughs> to he's gonna keep being a god of television. Dude. Sometime about 20 years in the future, you'll be flipping around the channel. You won't be able to get rid of him. He'll be on every show because he's so Every cool. four channels, man. Just no. like that. That's right. All four channels he's going to be on, no, man. man. No. He's going to be doing Shakespeare. You'll see. No, man. Keep it along the same lines, though, man. Yeah, I got you, Steve. You know, um, Ronald Reagan. Yeah, a 50s kind of guy. He's going to be president of the United States. <laughs> Man, what cloud are you on, Steve? 
He's gonna be president. Get, he said it's Ronald Reagan is gonna be president, man. Give me some man. of those mushrooms, man. <laughs> He's oh, Republican. Man. No, yeah. man, I wish I had some of what you're on, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill, I know you can't top that one, but oh, give kid. it a try, man. <laughs> well, you know how successful John Travolta is lately. Oh, of course, man. One of my faves. A string of hits. Are, they're never gonna end. Never, man. He's gonna be on top for a very, very long time now. Uh, all right, doing that movie thing. Yeah. So we should be looking. He's gonna, he's gonna be cutting more albums. Cool. You know, cool. he's 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 just gonna cut out TV altogether. Oh, cool. He's gonna be he's gonna be up there. So we should be looking forward to Saturday Night Fever Part Nine. Nine, twelve. You know, he's gonna be staying alive that, for a long time. That would be time. a bright future. Woo! Woo! Check it out, man. That, oh, that, that guy wow. was naked, man. Oh, wow. I love it. Cool, man. Our first streaker on Cinema oh, 70. Cool. Hey, man, you keep rocking, you keep trucking, you keep doing what it is you need to do. You keep <laughs> right, being yourself, right. man. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Matt, why don't you give us another uh, another prediction, man? One more quick one, bud. Go ahead. Eight tracks, man. They're going to last forever. Most advanced recording medium that will ever exist. Can't get any higher than that. Uh, yeah, four right. tracks, man, in stereo. I think I know you're right, man. I know you No right. scratches or nothing. Oh, it's beautiful. That's it's beautiful. So beautiful stuff. It's the high, highest quality you can buy, too. Definitely. Well, I got another one concerning Mr. Leaf Garrett. Oh, man. That's right. The man's going to win many, many Tony Awards. He's going to win all kinds of Oscars and various other get them all. He, that's right. In fact, I, I predict... There's still stopping the man. That's right. I predict that Leaf Garrett is going to be the next Sonny Tufts, man. That's right. The next Sonny Tufts. I bet, you, I bet you that uh, after the Love Boat... The Love Boat, I yeah. love the Love Boat. Man. Oh, man. It's cool week, show. Man. That, that's going to last. Oh, definitely. That, that's going to last 20, maybe even 30 years. Oh, no. <laughs> that would be cool. No, because Gopher's going to leave... To be a to be a congressman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, Steve. are you high, Steve? He's as high as a fly in July. No, he's gonna be one. Oh, Steve, man, he's gone. <laughs> well, we guess we better be getting into that movie. I'm maybe serious, Steve. Maybe man. Steve be coming down off of that east wind he happens to be riding right about now. So don't you go away, hey, because wait. I'm okay and you're okay. All right. What about that Saturday Night Live thing, anyway? Oh, Saturday Night Live? No way, man. No. They're moving into another time slot right next to us. Nah, <laughs> who do right. they got? They got nobody. What, that okay, let's, let's Bel go to the movie. Belushi guy? Nah, nobody's ever heard of him. That show's going to be nowhere, man. I'm not worried about it. Watch so, the movie. Watch the movie. Peace. <laughs> well, that was about ten days too long, but hey. Right. Oh, well. Wait, why don't okay. you... <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm looking at the TV monitor. All right. Hey, cool. Well, it's that time of the show again, folks. That's right. Predictions for the future. All right. Cool, cool. Well, I got one concerning one of my main men, one of Bill's main men. That's right, Mr. Eric Estrada. He's going to be a god of television, man. He's going to be doing that movie thing. He's going to be doing that music thing. He's going to be doing that television thing. About 20 years from now, you're going to be flipping around. You'll, you'll catch him on everything, man, because he's going to be he's going to be on every single no. channel. Every four stations, man. You can't. That's right. All four no. stations, he's going to be there. He's going to be no, there. No, man. <laughs> no. But on the same lines of, like, actors, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know Ronald Reagan? Yeah, that 50s kind of guy. Yeah, yeah man. <coughs> We're going to vote him into presidency of the United States of America. <laughs> man, Steve, what cloud are you on, man? I'm serious, man. Oh, Holy he Steve. says oh, Ronald man. Reagan's going to be president. Oh, man, you're flying. What kind of mushrooms you mushing, Steve? That's a, man, I wish I had some of what he's on. <laughs> Bill, I know you can't top that one, but go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> well, John, <clears throat> John Travolta. Oh yeah. You know he he's the greatest right now. Definitely. And, and the hits are never gonna end. He's gonna be everywhere too. Cool man. He's gonna be the next Sonny Tufts. Man, man. he's gonna have like the the biggest box office 
cool. films. So about 20 years from now, we should be looking forward to uh, Saturday Night Fever Part 9, man. 9, 12, maybe, yeah. Cool. That'll be a bright future. <laughs> Hey, check it out, man. That guy was naked, man. All right. Our first streaker here on Cinema 75. Groovy. I love it. Groovy, man. Hey, you just keep being yourself. You keep on trucking, man. All right, because that's cool. He's free from society, man. He's free and from restraints of society. And clothes. And clothes. <laughs> All right. Cool, man. Keep on trucking. All right. Well, I got another one concerning uh, eight-track tapes, man. There is never going to be anything better than eight-track tapes. Technology yeah. cannot come up. It can't get anything better with, than this. With better than this, you got four tracks in stereo, man. Highest quality. There'll be nothing better than eight tracks ever, ever, ever. So, uh, Bill, you got us another one, man. Love boat will last forever. That would be cool, man. <laughs> no, it can't. It can't last forever. Oh, this should be good. It's gonna let gophers leaving. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> He's gonna become a congressman. <laughs> man, you're about as high as a fly in July, man. I'm inhaling something, Steve. Again, I'm serious, oh, man. Oh, man, Steve, oh, you're God. gone, man. Steve's totally gone, so Steve will be coming down off that east wind. We're gonna go into, gonna hey. go into the movie about now. So. Speaking of predictions, what do you think of that Saturday Night Live thing? Oh, that's that new show that's moving in right opposite us, man. Saturday Night Live. It's going nowhere, man. I'm not worried. Who they got on there? This, what's this, John Belushi, something like that? Who the heck is he, man? Nah, I'm not worried about it at all. All right. So we're going to be going into the movies. So we'll be here when you get back. I'm okay, and you're okay. Peace. Keep on trucking. I love Plumicon tubes. <laughs> so what they're called? Plumicon, Vitacon, Satacon. Okay, buddy, you gotta be looking at the camera. It's, it's coming out of the movie. Ow. Man, this technology's great, but this Plumicon is way off base. Huh. I gotta get this thing adjusted. Hold on a second. You better register it again. Just, man. yeah, I gotta get the red one back in to register it. Okay, there we go. Alright. 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 Well, that was a pretty funky movie, wasn't it? I know Steve really enjoyed it. Of course, Steve's right now is enjoying just about anything we show him. Uh, okay, well, it's uh, time for the first installment of our new, our new segment. That's right, it's viewer film. People have been sending us all kinds of goofy film and stuff like that. So we get these big canisters in, we're going to show you the first one. So here we go into viewer film. Alright, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Try to get. Make your joke. Make Make your joke. Cable. Oh, yeah. Cable joke. Cable. And just like interrupt. Show devoted to viewer films. When we cash prizes, man. That's gonna be after the. You know. about weather stations. Ready? Yeah, to hurl. Okay. UK Haas. That sounded good. Oh man, this technology's great, man. These cameras are wonderful, but I can't get this Plumicon tube back into registration. It'll be just just yeah, a you second, man. It, man. Yeah, I got the red one a little bit goofy here. Just okay. All right. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, go ahead. All right. Man, you think that technology is cool? Yeah. Just wait, man. Pretty soon, you gonna have one skinny cable. <laughs> Come into your house and you hook it to your TV, and you have 180 channels to choose from. Oh man, Steve! 11 of which is nothing but weather. Oh man, Steve, you're gone, man. Steve's totally out of it. What would you say, man? Oh. Watch the weather. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just let Steve do it, whatever it is he does. But... I love doing that. <laughs> oh man, that was a pretty funky movie, wasn't it? All right. Well, it's time for the first installment of our new segment. That's right. We call it viewer film. So people have been sending us these big silver canisters, a real kind of funky film. We just hook it up to the old uh, cine. A little Cinetron there, and we'll be showing it to you. 
So here we go into viewer film. Yeah. Yeah. What? 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 Huh? 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 I love that. You ready? Yeah. All right. Is it rolling? Do it. <laughs> Cut. Wow! <laughs> oh man. Steve's totally out of it, man. So that was our new segment, <laughs> viewer film. What do you think about viewer film, Steve? <laughs> I loved it, man. <laughs> it's great. And one day, oh wait, here we have, go again. You're gonna have a number of shows, and all I do is show the home videos and stuff. <laughs> and you can win like a hundred thousand dollars. Oh man, you're. T I suppose they're gonna put it on this there cable television. No, they'll put it right next to the weather. <laughs> oh, you can't. Man. You're totally gone, man. Uh, oh, uh, I can't uh, believe it. Well, uh, it's about that time of the show again. Oh, That's right. We're talking Mr. <laughs> Potato Head's <laughs> letter of the week. Yeah, and of course, yeah. I've got the Mr. Potato Head theme. Everybody get ready to <laughs> mellow out. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Potato see. Head's letter of the week. That's right. Okay, let's see what Mr. Potato Head has for us this week. All right, take it up there, Virgil. <laughs> I love that. All right, here we go. Dear Mr. Potato Head, I really dig your groovy hip show. I can't wait until it's on commercial television. By the way, I got a question concerning the Bay City Rollers. Why does Eric wear all of those buttons? And it's signed Groove Mookie from Reese, Michigan. You know, all right, man. I, I've always wondered that myself. Let's bring out the expert. That's right. We happen to have on our show today an expert on the Bay City Rollers. But then, you know, who really isn't an expert on Bay City Rollers? I have a seat. Uh, That's right. Hey, welcome to the show. Hey, man. How's it going? What's your name, man? My name is Martin. Martin. Glad to be on the show. All right. You keep doing what you do, and we'll keep doing what we do, because we're all cool. So, so tell us about Eric's Buttons, man. That's right. Eric's Buttons is the question this week, it's, it's man. Actually, all of his buttons, see, if you look in that picture right there, now Oh, cool. I'll pass we gotta this, show, all right? we got to show this to our now, audience, uh, man. Oh, All man. of his fans from around the world send him buttons, right? See, check it out, man. And so since he loves his fans, yeah. he puts them on there. Huh. I mean, he wears them. He can get up to, I think the most was 50 buttons on a single outfit. I love that! <laughs> that's really, that's really, really funky. All right, well. All right. Hey. And I'm also, um, for all you people... You know, I'm teaching a course on the Bay City Rollers oh, cool. at Delta College in Bay City. All right. Cool. Bay City Rollerology, we meet every midnight, every leap year. Oh, All right. Cool, Be man. there. And, you know, Delta's really cool because the tuition there is only $5 a credit hour. Wow. Right. So, yeah, that's, so that's really and cool. And this class is only a buck fifty. Oh, oh, that's yeah. cool. So I'm going to be there. I think, Bill, you oh. might as well pencil Bill. Yes, for yes. Seat. Of course, as long as it doesn't interfere with your Welcome Back Cotter time. Oh, man. <laughs> Welcome Back Cotter fan club. It's really taken off. Man. Yeah, that's right, man. That's another show that's going to be lasting for quite some time, man. All right. Well, that's about it for this week's Cinema 75. So we're going to keep on grooving. You keep on grooving. We're going to get back into the disco a little bit now. So everybody be cool. Saturday night. <laughs> There's a glare. There's a glare on it. There. Oh, my God, Eric. Move Do your make. finger away. And, like, point to it now. Get out of this way. I'm dying. <laughs> Not you, Steve. Just buddy. Wait, wait. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, All right. <laughs>
Ready? Oh, here, man. Here's that. Who's that book guy I uh, bought? Oh, cool. The John Travolta scrapbook. Yeah, Thanks a lot, man. Wait, wait, hey, wait, hey. Wait. Start dancing a little bit more around here and then kind of like work your way over there. Okay. I was hoping I wouldn't have to move. <laughs> Do it in the butt. See if I get right back to the next Do it spot. In the butt. Oh, hey, man. Hey. Here, man, I got you that book. Oh, oh cool, man. the John Travolta scrapbook, yeah. man. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Hey, 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 you owe me two dollars for it, man. Hey, I paid you for the book already. No, man, man you, you owe me two dollars, man. No, I don't owe you no two bucks, man. Hey, you owe me two bucks for the book, man. Hey, I paid you the two bucks for the book, man. <laughs> no, man, fact the difference, you did not pay hey, me. Hey, look, I don't owe you two bucks, man. If you insist I owe you two bucks, you can walk, man. No, man, just give me my All two right. bucks. All right, that's it. You're fired, man. Get off my set. What? You're fired, man. Get off my set. Don't you even beg to come back on this show again. Oh, You'll man. never. Hey, you you will never be on this show again, man. I guarantee it. You, you're going to be selling papers for a living. Yeah, that's right. You're going to be selling papers what? for a $2, living. What? Two dollars, man. Yeah, papers. You just see, man. You're never getting back on this show again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> that worked. You guys should get angry at each other, though. Huh? We did get angry. Past. We were pissed. Want to do another one, then? Sure. <laughs> one more. Matt never refuses to do <laughs> another one. I <laughs> I promise. This is the last take. I mean it. I'm kind of tired of dancing like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 nice work at model. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, 1989. For one night. Mario. Get it. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bud, man. Yeah. Hey, I got you your book. Hey, cool. The John Travolta scrapbook. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Hey, wait. Hey, you still owe me two dollars on that. Nah, I don't owe you two bucks. I already paid you. No, <laughs> you did not pay me, man. I'm not fooling around. You didn't pay me yet. Hey, hey, I already paid you the two bucks. You man. didn't pay me the two bucks for that book. Hey, I remember paying it. Hey, look, if you insist I still owe you two bucks, you can take a walk, man. Hey, man, you firing me? Yeah, that's it, man. You're fired. Hey, no, th you're no. not going to be on this. Hey, Get off my set. Give me my two dollars. Hey, I don't owe you two bucks for this book, man. I already paid you. Get on. You get this walk, man. Just get out of here. Hey, you're never gonna work again, man. You're, you're I gonna owe my two dollars. You're gonna have to sell papers for a living. Yeah, that's right. Newspapers. You're gonna have to sell newspapers for a living. Cause you're never gonna get on this show again, man. Never. Don't ever come back, man. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait longer. You see, it looks real mean. Matter of fact, I think I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay, so start right. Now only I'll cue you up at the top. Go ahead. Knock it off. I dare you. Oh, <laughs> that was sweet. How was that? I wanted to, you couldn't really see it kind of like. You couldn't see it? No. I'm just going to roll here. We can shoot this about 15 more times, Matt. Oh, really? I really? I'm really liking this. <laughs> Can I take my pants off too? No one will see it. <laughs> I will. Ready? <laughs> Fuck. Do you want me 
gonna sit behind him and like hold my finger up on it. <laughs> Can I be done? Uh, no. Yeah. No. I know what you're talking about, but no, I can't. It's kind of like. See, it's too far back. I can't see it. Can't, can't see it. Do it. Shoot it quick! Shoot it quick! Go ahead. Knock it off. I dare you. <laughs> all right. Hey, that's all there is to it. Cool. Can I put clothes on? I'll just toasterize it and put it on a wash background or something. Too bad we couldn't do a cigarette commercial. If we had the time and the money. To dress Steve up like the Marlboro. Boop. And it's signed, uh, Sincerely, Papa Doodle Doo from Reese, Michigan. Well, uh, take her up there, Verge. Well, that was Mr. Potato Head's letter of the week. I guess that about, uh, that about does it here for, uh, for us at Cinema Insomnia. So, a big howdy to all of you out there from all of us in here from Cinema Insomnia. I'm me, and you're you. Good night. And cut. Okay, perfect. Jeez, perfect. Well, That's just the way I want it. It's about time after the 147th take. Well, huh. okay. Man. Maybe we can do one more? No? All right, all right. That's it. Good. Just let me get the tape out of the VCR. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and get that. I'm going to turn off some of these lights. It's pretty hot in here. Right? Uh. I don't think I'd change a thing. Just let me uh, get this out here. Yeah, yeah, you do that. Uh, buddy. Hi. What? 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 Can you come? Can you come here a minute? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Just. Yeah. All right. Um, what, 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 what? Uh, what do we got here? There what? seems to be a little bit of trouble with the show. Oh my god. Oh, what are we gonna do? It's ruined! Ruined! Ruined, I tell you! Ruined! Oh, oh no. There's, what are we gonna do? There's I don't, not enough time to shoot the rest of the oh thing my all god. over what, again. What are we gonna do? Uh, it's just all over the place. We don't have enough time. What are we gonna do? Um, uh, the vault. Oh boy, you mean we have to go to the vault for this week's show? Uh, oh. well, I guess let's see what we got. Here, hold this. No, I think I think that'll be just about perfect. I don't think we're gonna need it. Yeah, it better be. That's all I got to say. Um, well, this has gotta be our best show so far. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get this out of here. <clears throat> so we'll just take this over and I'll get it edited tomorrow. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, fine, fine. Uh. Buddy could. Buddy, uh, but, uh, come here, bud. What? What? Come here. I'm trying to make a phone call. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh what 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 what? Uh, um, I think something's happened to the show. <laughs> you mean this is the show? Was the show? 
Oh, oh my god. What are we gonna do? It's ruined! It's oh. absolutely ru Do we have enough time to shoot another show? Well, what time is it? Oh my gosh. We don't have enough time. We just don't have enough time. After the 147 takes that we did, we just don't have enough time to shoot it again. What are we gonna do? We have no show. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm very nervous. Just let's just go in the vault and find the movie and we'll just air a rerun. The vault? Yeah, okay. Is let's there see. anything even in the vault? Do should we go to the vault? Okay, let's go in the vault and just see what we can find. Let's, all right, just don't worry right. about it. That's cool. That's cool. I'll just let's see where can I be at. I'll just I'll just come down here like this. Ready? Ready? Nope. Ah, uh, here we go. No, buddy, I'm not really sure we should air this oh, one. Oh, look, it's the same tape. You I know, know it's, it's the same, same movie. movie, but, you know, it's just... Um, we could find another one if we looked a little bit harder. I don't know. I'm, you know we, don't, we don't get that much time to look. We, 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 just, we just better go with this one, okay? I, 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 okay, yeah, but I don't go know. Go ahead and... I'm not really sure. It's not the way I don't think it's... Uh, yeah, wimp. I don't remember this part. Meet John Doe. Let's see the Red River haunted house. Let's see a red Dick house. Tracy. Uh, Dick Tracy. Um, we gotta find the same. Well, yeah, the same one that we're airing this. Uh, this one, I don't know. Rubik's spot. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Let's see. Red River. Uh, our town. No, oh, wait a minute. Let's see. You Dick, gotta find the Dick movie Tracy. that we're gonna air this week. Okay. Uh, let's see. The Red House. Um, what about this? This this is the same movie we're supposed to air. What? Mm, uh, how, how old is no, this? No, I don't, I don't think we want to use this. Oh, I'm sure this is fine. Just, no, no, no. Just, here, just give me it. It's all right, buddy. Look, we don't need We really use, don't have a lot of time, you know, to look. So I think I, we probably ought to use this tape. But that There's one, really nothing wrong with this tape. So let's, buddy, let's try I, this one. I don't think we should be using that one specifically. <laughs> Matt, watch your hands. Ow. Hey, that feels good.